Some people sometimes say that NLP is scary. It, it's full of very long words and technical language. And I'd like to reassure people who are perhaps thinking about doing an NLP course that actually it's easy. People say to me sometimes, oh, you know, what do you do for a living? I say I'm in remedial education. Because <laughs> what I'm doing is putting right years and years of, of bad practice. If I was Secretary of State for Education, the first thing I would want to do would be to redesign the teacher training programmes. Who had a teacher they loved at school? An absolutely brilliant teacher, yeah? So you think about them, feeling comes back. You become a good learner, you become a vor voracious learner, an enthusiastic learner, because state is glued to learning. If we look at a lot of the things that are written for new teachers, it's, there are headlines like surviving the classroom jungle. And one of my beliefs is that I don't believe that people get up in the morning wanting to screw up my day. I find that useful. One of the teachers I taught said, you haven't met my Wednesday group. <laughs> I know they're trying to screw up my day. <laughs> Essentially, we're not about behaviour management. Behaviour management doesn't need to happen if the learning's really good. The combination of NLP in the classroom means that people have the ability to enable their students to learn with fun and humour quickly, easily. And in this day and age, it's essential that we turn out people who are voracious learners. And that was the thing that did it for me. The idea that we have students who believe that they cannot do things, that they are not, that they're thick, that they're stupid, that they can't sing, that they can't do this. And that we have the capacity to give them something beyond that. NLP is an educational model. It's about learning. So it seemed to me quite bizarre that it wasn't being used in the classroom. The very first thing I want us to do is I've done a bit of talking to you and I want you now to be thinking about what this weekend means for you. And what we've got up on the uh, flip chart here is what would make the weekend magic? What would make this four days magic for you? And at the back of the room, we've got another flip chart on the wall that says, tragic. <laughs> um, NLP is a very natural process. It's based on observing how humans make change. It's a way of describing the way we make change and then learning to do it for ourselves. It's a very simple process and easy to learn and hopefully loads of fun. What we don't want is people who are confident without being competent. Some of you have had learners like this. Well, I've, I can, I've done one of them. I can do this. We've done it already. I can do this. That's not useful, is it? To be confident without being competent is unhelpful. I would not like to go for an operation with a surgeon who is extremely confident but not very competent. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff on the teacher training programmes, but what it doesn't do right at the beginning when teachers need it most is to prepare them for the classroom. People are motivated by two different things. I mean, we'll talk about, a lot about motivation strategies, but essentially one of the things that we can say about it is people are motivated by the outcome, what they're going to get, or the process of doing something. You know, you think about something that you don't want, you're not bothered about getting and it's difficult to learn and you don't do it. You think about something that you want, what you're going to get from it, and you enjoy the process of doing it, that's when you're going to engage and learn really well. The excellence programme, there were just so many surprises, it's really quite difficult to, to list them and to, to call them all back to mind at this stage in, in the, uh, the programme. But I think one of the things was that um, the, the, the joy with which people are, are picking up the skills and taking them away, wanting to get back into the classroom, trying things out and recognising that the NLP techniques, hap the change happens quickly. They don't have to struggle or have it happen over a long period of time. So I think they were really surprised how quickly they could um, utilise an aspect of NLP, be it the Meta model or the Milton model, in order to, to get the change they wanted in their students. And each of them brought something of themselves to it, and so they've been very funny and they've been very surprising. And the stories that they've told have been a joy to hear. Somebody once said somewhat negatively that, that men marry women hoping that they'll never change. <laughs> and women marry men hoping that they will. <laughs> 
I feel on this course that uh, they've had an opportunity for learning a whole range of skills which bring together the best of teaching and learning and the best of NLP. I want them to take away the attitude of NLP, the tenacity to enable other people to change so that they can achieve more than they believed possible. By achieving this skill, you will go wherever your desires take you. The group have been absolutely fantastic. Each of them has brought something special to the group and I hope that each of them will take something special away. I don't know if it will be now or later that you will wake up to the alarming idea that not only will you learn something new, but can make a huge difference to other people's lives. The, the course is extremely successful because it takes the skills and knowledge and ensures that the members of staff go back to their schools and colleges and apply it directly tomorrow. I promise to go out into the world, to go out into the world and spread happiness. And spread happiness. No good reason at all. <laughs>